It's game week, UMass, let's go! Yeah! Today we'll be talking UMass football, we'll be getting you some tickets, we'll be getting you weather, we'll be getting you opposition, intel, we'll be getting you coach freeze, and special guest, stay to the end, we have Alabama Drill, who's going to give us some predictions today on Auburn football. Check it out, stay tuned, get your popcorn! UMass week, everybody! Why y'all not excited? I'm excited. Go. First, I want to give you all the information on the game you need. What channel are we on? We're on ESPN on Saturday. What's the weather forecast? 84 degrees is your high at 4 p.m. 69 degrees is your low at 6 a.m. Some want to know and some don't, but the betting line is minus 35. The over and under is 52.5. Now let's talk UMass. If you guys didn't know, UMass played in week zero. Score that game, 41 to 30. They played New Mexico State. Let's talk UMass. UMass runs zone read, option, RPO, quick hitting offense. They do a lot of motion, and if they catch you looking in the backfield at the motion, they'll hit you over the top. Let's talk UMass defense. UMass defense is led by Don Brown. You might remember him. He coached at Michigan as a defensive coordinator. Don runs multiple, but he usually runs a four-man front, and it's based in a lot of confusion, trying to confuse your offensive line. He plays a lot of man-to-man -man scheme and a lot of cover two. Let's get to the stats of this past week's game. Starting quarterback Pumachan, like that name. Let's talk passing. Pumachan was 10 of 17 for 192 yards passing with a QBR rating of 69.2. Let's go to the ground game. Let's get to the nitty gritty. Pumachan had 17 carries for 96 yards on the ground. The rest of the backs had 20 carries for 101 yards on the ground. That will give you 37 carries for a total of 197 yards on the ground. Total offense for the UMass Minutemen, 389 yards total. Now that I've given you information to get you to the game, and I've given you information on our opponent's last game, let's talk to Coach Hugh Freeze and see what he has to say. Coach Hugh Freeze right here. Coach, I'm excited about this game today. It's our first game, your first game. Coach, are you excited? Uh, really excited that uh, game week's here. Now, Coach, I know you say you're excited that game week's here, but Coach, are you ready? I think our staff's ready and you know excited about getting into a normal week and um, and really excited about my first experience uh, running out in Jordan Hare Stadium. I think that's going to be phenomenal and exciting and just uh, it's it's, it's going to be a magical experience. I know in that stadium, provided that we play well. Coach, I know the Auburn fan base is great. But could you tell the fans how you feel about the Auburn fan base? The incredible fan base we have has, you know, welcomed us so much and bought season tickets and we've expanded the the stadium size and it will be a capacity uh, for Saturday. And you hear all those things and you just so badly want to, uh, you know, to deliver. Coach, I know you said before you're excited. I said I'm excited. But what I really want to know, are you really excited? How excited are you, Coach? We're extremely excited to uh, to kick off the uh, 23 campaign this Saturday. Let's talk about the mental state of this team and give the Auburn addicts some information they can use in their everyday life to build some mental toughness. That's a... Uh... That's something we've tried to start instilling when we got here. Our theme since we've been here has been flip the script, and it's really about rewiring your mind of how you prepare for these uh, 12 opportunities that we're given. And it's, it's something that has to be done daily, that you're, 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 whatever is driving your beliefs uh, are going to drive some type of behavior, and that behavior is going to create some habits, and that habits will ultimately give us all our destiny. And... Um, the more of those days that we stack, um, that we're doing things the right way, you know, with the right attitude and with the right passion, uh, then the more prepared we'll be. Okay, okay, okay. I like that. I like that, Coach. Coach Freeze, let's talk about the running game, man. I'm excited about this running game. I heard the running game is doing real well. Are we going to find out what that running game going to do Saturday? Uh, you just said it. I don't know. I honestly don't. I mean, I don't know. Um, you know, we'll find out more Saturday. Um, are we an effective 
um, running the football team against other opponents? Um, or has our defense made us look that good? Now, Coach, let's talk about the injury report. Please tell me Jalen McLeod is going to play Saturday. Please. Um, right now, I would say J.D. Rhymes questionable, uh, Nick Mardner, Jalen McLeod, um, Nehemiah Pritchett, I think, will go. Um, uh, Robbie Ashford's dealing with an oblique strain, but I think he'll go to. Um, it wouldn't shock me if, if all of those went, truthfully, but it really wouldn't shock me if, if a few didn't make it e either. But our list is pretty short, and uh, hopefully all of them will, will make progress this week and be able to go. All right, Coach, let's talk playing time. How are you going to put all those pieces that you brought in from all these schools together? We're going to play all those those pieces that have earned the right to for that opportunity, and then what they do with that opportunity will de determine how big of a piece of the puzzle they are. It's pretty simple. They go out there and they rush for 150 yards. They're probably going to get some more carries. If you go out there and you complete a high percentage of your passes, you're probably going to get more opportunities. And same thing with the, every position that will grade out. I'll get the grade Sunday and. The guys that uh, that that did it really well will continue to get those opportunities. Now, Coach, it's something I want to talk about. I want to talk about the depth chart. See, I've been telling people, Coach Hugh Freeze don't have a depth chart. But they've been saying, hey, he released one this week. So what are you talking about? But, Coach, I'm going to let you tell the people how you feel about a depth chart. Tell them, Coach. I'm going to be totally candid with you. I don't even have a depth chart, so I, I don't know where that came from. I guess that's from the SID world. I, I don't do depth charts, so, um, you yeah, know, I just don't. That, that's It's really nonsense. Let's talk some of the specific UMass players now. One jumping off the page at me, Coach. Who jumping off the page for you? 48 jumps off the page at you, as does one and seven. Now, Coach, I know the – Quarterback name is kind of hard to pronounce. His name is Pumachan. But tell us how you feel about Mr. Pumachan, Coach. Offensively, uh, the quarterback makes a huge difference. I don't. I won't try to pronounce his last name, but uh, number three, Taysan, I think is his first name. But uh, the running back, 15, is really, really good. And Simpson and, and Johnson, those two transfer receivers. I know the Grove was fine, and you don't want to offend people. But let's talk about our home field advantage, Coach. I think the, the most exciting thing would me just be taking in what I consider to be one of the best home atmospheres in college football. And I don't know that I've had that. No offense to any other places that I've been, but I just don't, I don't think I've ever been at a place that, uh, that has the, quite the uh, enthusiasm and passion and energy that I think Jordan Hare is going to have. And so I will take a moment to take that in. All right, all the matter. He's got you for the game. Got the weather. Got the tickets. He got the opposition intel. He can get you free. Now, here's our special guest, Alabama Gray. Y'all tune in. Let me change my hat to this one. Let's go. What's up, girl? What's going on, boss man? How at me, man. How at me. What's going on down there in God's country? Hey, it's going fine. It's going fine, man. Appreciate you. Hey, tapping in. Let me get on here. Chop it up a little bit. All right, man. I, you know, I got my uh, John Bill hat on. I got an old, dirty one. You know what I'm saying? So you will feel comfortable. <laughs> I gotta, you know, I know y'all down in God's country, so I gotta make you feel comfortable, make you feel welcome. So I put up my John Deere hat, man. The best country vibes you can find, huh? <laughs> exactly. Hey, man, what we doing today, man? We ain't really talking you, man. So I done covered that already. It, you know, we gonna, <laughs> you know, we go. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know what we gonna do, you, you man. Big, big boy ball, big boy ball, SEC. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know we're going to do the UMass. So I just want to get an Alabama perspective on things, man. I was talking to Nick from the Coolest Water Cooler podcast last week. And um, we were just kind of chopping it up, man. So, and I was just giving his perspective on Auburn fans seeing 
out of orange and blue eyes or orange and blue sunglasses. So I want to get your perspective on Auburn football, man, because I know we kind of like we out there with Hugh Freeze and, you know, mm -hmm. taking recruits from Alabama and, you know, taking them from Georgia. You know what I'm saying? So I want to get your perspective, man. Uh, what do well, you think about Hugh Freeze, man? Talk to me about Hugh Freeze. Look, look, Freeze? look. I, I ain't low on you like a lot of people, you know, okay. just, just specifically talking about just football and his philosophies and stuff like that. I, I like the dude, you know, I think he got some good concepts. I like the way he run his offense. I think he, he one of the more innovative minds in college football. I just think the outside stuff, you know, is kind of, kind of messed him up, but I, I don't look down on, on the, on his stuff as far as in the game and strategy wise. Like, I think that's a good thing for y'all. I'm not low on him. Mm -hmm. are, are you you kind of honestly are you kind of like nervous when it comes to Hugh Freeze? You kind of kind of nervous. Yeah, you know he do make me nervous because we have had past encounters. Where he, be, he you know he beat us twice, so yeah. uh, you know he might y'all might not you y'all but well it's always going to be a scary game. The Iron Bowl is always going to be competitive. But I, you know y'all might not get us this year. But if mm -hmm. he's able to recruit, then that's that's dangerous territory. Mm -hmm. You know, in the in the future, because just the, just the schemes that he come with, you know. Most times you have a quarterback who who is accurate, that can mm -hmm. throw, that can maybe be mobile too. And then he's going to come at you. He's going to find your defense's weaknesses. He's going to mm -hmm. give you a bunch of looks. So that's, that's mm -hmm. just something that is is that's dangerous. I'm, I'm liking the way you're talking, Trill. Like <laughs> I don't, I don't want to be talking that way, <laughs> but I got to be honest about it. Hey, man, Nick, and you know, I'm, 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 I'm about to be messy. I'm about to be real messy. Nick. On the coolest water cooler podcast, he said, "Oh, we're gonna beat uh, Alabama this year." I, that's not my first time hearing. I'm seeing a lot of y'all. See, I, I don't, I don't know if I don't, I will go that far. Mm -hmm. I, I got to see how the season shake out. I got to see what we playing for. I got to see what's on the line when we get the when we get when we get that far. I got to see what what's happening there because. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Is, is it is it is it Jordan Hare this year? Yeah, yeah, we, we yeah, 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 yeah. Let me add this. Let me add this. Marcus said it too. He he on the coolest water cooler podcast. Them two together, both of them said. Marcus said it too. I'm gonna be messy. Marcus said it too, man. Here's my thoughts on that. Okay. I gotta see what we're playing for, and I gotta see who I gotta see who was playing the quarterback at that time. I figure if if we have any problems mm -hmm. that could possibly help y'all to where we won't be playing with the best quarterback, I think it's gonna be addressed. But by the time we get to the Iron Bowl, that's why I'm a little more confident that whatever happens, whether mm -hmm. we have a consistent somebody that's producing producing consistent or somebody mm -hmm. that is, is not doing as well, whatever happens, it's going to be taken care of by the Iron Bowl because you don't want to lose that game. Yeah, man, and th that what's crazy that's their reasoning for it is because of the inconsistency. Where they are thinking the quarterback position will be inconsistent. What's your take on the Alabama quarterback? position right now but who you think gonna win it i think it's gonna be milro because i think if it wasn't gonna be milro they would have said something because they already mm -hmm. they're already hearing the backlash I, right I, the dude is he's tremendous athlete he has tremendous upside but mm -hmm. i think accuracy and just anticipating having a feel for the game is a problem so I, he could be he could be really really good and or he could or he could struggle and he could be done in the first two weeks really Okay, so if if, if Miro done and, and I can't believe we just don't went on the Alabama thing, but it, it, let's go Alabama. So if Miro doesn't do it within two weeks, as you said, who who are they going to? I have no idea what's going to happen if Miro don't don't be able to get it done. I got no idea what's going to happen because I think they're going to scramble in. I think they they hoping that his upside is enough and, and all his athleticism and everything that he brings to the game they're hoping that we can use all of that and just you know roll over defenses with maybe his athletic ability and our and our run game yeah and and, and just hoping that he can be accurate enough to get mm -hmm. the ball to wide open guys because the run game should be going so well and if he can't do that i don't i don't know what's gonna happen at that point they now you're scrambling okay let me let, let's go back. Let's go back before we go forward in Alabama. Let's go back to UMass because this is supposed to be the UMass show. But we both agree we're gonna just drag yeah, UMass. I, you, you know, you know how that goes. Okay, all right, okay, okay. So now we can just we can just move on. Okay, give me Alabama record, man. And we go, Dre. I want you to come back on 
whenever you want to come back on, but especially the Iron Bowl. But I, whenever you want to come back on, but get what what you think Alabama record? You gonna say I'm being a homer, but mm-hmm. I think if we, it, I think we're gonna if we if we do lose a game, we're just gonna lose one. I only think we lose one because I, I see the run is. You gotta think this this is something that's building up over two or three years where you're falling short, you're falling short, and mm-hmm. you, you those problems you was having with coordinators, the culture of the team, and now you you got you got a good group all over. The only thing you, you worried about is can can the quarterback get it done? And you're hoping that if he can't, can we find someone who could just do enough? Can he just do enough to to just find the open guys and just lean on the run game the way old Alabama did, the way Georgia kind of do did this yeah. past season. Yeah. Yeah. So so you think they go back to the old Alabama running style and just playing hard on those defense? Can hard, Yes, yes, that. So can can, can Kevin Steele do that? This, this, what, this next listen, question. Listen, <laughs> listen, I'm hoping that he got a mind for the game and a feel mm-hmm. for the culture because the talent is there. But what I saw the past couple of years is just the concepts too complex and not mm-hmm. willing to adapt in the game. You might have a great, like, Golden might have a great idea, a great mm-hmm. strategy. It worked all first half. Well, it worked for three quarters. Mm-hmm. But when they change it, they see, okay, let me try this on Alabama because that's not mm-hmm. working. You mm-hmm. you never adjust. You never adapt. Mm-hmm. So, okay. I hope, yeah. Okay, so how much of, okay, Nick Saban with Uncle Nick was there too now. You know what I'm saying? So you say right. Uncle Nick done lost his touch? You know hey, what Hey, look, I don't want to say it. Bro? I don't want to say it. <laughs> but we got to be honest. That's, hey, look, look, you you the head coach. Okay. So yeah. if, if, thing, if things yeah. going wrong, you allowing that to happen. Yeah. Like, this, like we had we had time teams who won a championship a few years ago, but mm-hmm. there was there was there was times on those on that team and the team that went to the championship and lost where you know we struggled a lot. So mm-hmm. I can't like when when are you going to criticize the the guy running your defense because you are the top you the top dog so at some point you got to criticize this dude that we that everybody else criticizing that yeah. that's your man in charge now I, I agree with that man you know what I'm saying most alabama fans won't say it man they'll just keep blaming everybody in the down line you know at, at I, some point you got to blame the up line you got to bring the, I mean, you got to blame the if, it, if it's a one if it's a one yeah. year but you know this is something you see year after year after year you know, mm-hmm. in the past, in the past, all right, let me get rid of this guy because it's not working. You know, these guys too talented for us to be underachieving. But mm-hmm. now you're letting this go on year after year after year. You got you got the the Ben Norick, you got the um you got the Heisman winner. You know, what's going on here? You you yeah. you're falling short. Yeah. yeah. And now you now you like going to the portal getting quarterbacks, man. You that, you getting that's guys not a good that, sign. Yeah, come that's on not now. A good you, sign. Any, a lot of people want to play for Alabama. Why is it that it, are these guys not being developed? Mm-hmm. Uh, it, the, are you are you not recruiting properly? You know, it's it's holes there. Mm-hmm. Okay, let me ask you this. Let, now we on recruiting. Let's stay on this. Nick, <laughs> Nick and Mar- Marcus said, which I don't agree. You know, so I'm Auburn fan, but I don't agree. Nick and Marcus said that LSU is more talented than Alabama. Do you agree? I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to say that. I, I think they're both really good teams this year, but mm-hmm. I think LSU is getting a little overhyped. I think they're mm-hmm. getting a little mm-hmm. overhyped, just, just based off the way they. Fit. I, I watched them. I watched those games last year. They mm-hmm. had a good team, but they mm-hmm. were very up and down, and they struggled with quarterback play just like us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Auburn was supposed to beat LSU too. Auburn oh, was. definitely, definitely. Yeah. Auburn was. They, were, they should have lost the Arkansas game. Mm-hmm. We practic mm-hmm. we practically handed it to them with bad mm-hmm. play calling and mm-hmm. just not executing, and then mm-hmm. just bad strategy on the defensive side. You just mm-hmm. play it right into their hands. Mm-hmm. So what? Okay, so you say you only lose one game, man. So you you saying what's that loss? If if you had to pick a loss with Alabama, who would it be? One loss. I, oh, because it's hard for me because I don't really think we're gonna lose at home. So I have mm-hmm. to go. I have to look at our schedule again, mm-hmm. but it, it'll probably be a road game. Just, just it, just like it always happens. You, you know, you come off a, a sluggish game and you mm-hmm. try to run over again and just think you're gonna go run over somebody on the road, and that's when mm-hmm. they catch you slipping. Yep. Yeah. 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 So, so I man, gotta go. Yeah. yeah go I gotta go look yeah. at our schedule again. 
and see okay. where, where the home and away is at. So most people saying most people saying Alabama man gonna lose like two or three games, Drell. But see, this this is my thing. This is this is like a make or break year. In the past, like the past couple seasons, we lose that game, no adjustments being made. I just can't see that happen again. You you change the culture, you got the new coordinators in. Whatever mm -hmm. went wrong in that loss, if that mm -hmm. loss comes, mm -hmm. you got to think that it's going to get fixed. Like before the past couple years, where where this just I ain't changed nothing. How you don't change nothing? <laughs> <laughs> Everything went wrong, and you ain't changed nothing. <laughs> That sound like a previous coach we had. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For sure, man. For sure. Wow. So, okay. So, you saying one game. Nick, them saying three games. They saying LSU more talented. You saying they're not. So, okay. We had a day. If anything, if anything is equal, man. If anything is equal. They got okay. some really good players, but they have mm -hmm. flaws just like we got flaws. Mm -hmm. So, what's your, take, what's your take from Alabama's perspective on Georgia? What's your, is it going to be Georgia and Alabama in the SEC championship again? Bro, how are you looking at Georgia, man? Because I, honestly, I think the problem with Alabama is Kirby and Georgia. That's, I'm just being honest. That's what I think. I think when they pull Kirby away, man, they took some from Alabama, man. He, they took he, some. You're right, man. Kirby had his flaws too, but mm -hmm. he bought a culture and mm -hmm. he was, and, and he, he arguably the greatest recruit ever. I ain't gonna lie. He are he really right there with Nick. Are really the great? Yeah. So no yeah. matter what his yeah. flaws are, he covered it up with so much talent. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So mm. a, a few weeks ago, mm -hmm. I might have said they don't play anybody, and they're they're, mm -hmm. they're they got the most talent, so they're gonna run the table. But I'm looking at this now. All they run, they dropping like flies. The running backs mm -hmm. dropping like they gonna lean really? on the run game. Yeah, the running backs really? dropping like flies. I ain't been keeping up, man. I gotta, I gotta have my boy on. I think they don't I have. have I think Dilza they don't have. on next, man. I gotta have the deals of talks in Georgia and get his perspective. So tell me, what's going on with Georgia running backs, man? I think two or three of them might be out for the season or out for a considerable time. So they, really? they like they they scrambling like the young guys probably gonna be getting majority of the reps. I know one is done. I really like the kid. Um okay. 20, Brett Bratson Robinson. Yeah, that's I, he's, yeah. Done, he's done. He's done he really? done for the year, I'm pretty sure. I think he towards Patella okay. or something. And yeah. and it's another one that's hurt too. So I'm like, mm -hmm. if if the Carson Beck ain't him, what mm -hmm. y'all gonna do? Mm -hmm. Now you now you got to throw somebody even younger in. And I like Brock Bowers, but what what are the, are the other receivers going to show up? You know, they mm -hmm. inconsistent. They talented, but inconsistent. And right. now you got the target on your back. This, this is what I say. I okay. don't think anybody is ever going to three-peat in this era. There will never be a three-peat. Okay. Wow. I cannot see it happening. Wow. Because it's just too many factors against you. You got the X on your back, and mm -hmm. then it seemed like you got injuries or mm -hmm. just some, some fluke thing. Like, like you're, you, you remember we won an 11. We won an 11. Mm -hmm. we, we lost we lost to LSU, we, we bounced back. We won mm -hmm. 12. We had mm -hmm. a loss to Johnny Manziel, bounced back. We we're mm -hmm. getting ready to do it again. I'm pretty sure we would have did it again mm -hmm. and kick six. What is a kick yeah. six? <laughs> what is a kick? It just, it's what we do. It's, it's what we it's do, not, It's, kick, it's kick not meant to be, do. man. <laughs> Look, man, when something like that happens, it's not yeah. meant to be because there's yeah. no playoff then. You're, mm -hmm. hoping that, you're hoping that two teams win so you can get a rematch. Yep. One lost and one didn't. It just not meant to be. You, the three peak man. Yeah, they, yeah. You they, know what you know what I say about Auburn man, and nobody better not steal this. But Alabama may have more wins, but Al but Auburn have better wins. We have better <laughs> wins. <laughs> hey, hey, man. I, I don't know what so. <laughs> What's your process of better wins is, but I will oh, say that hey, bro, we I have better say, wins, man. We have. I will we, say, look at the, 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 the prayer at Jordan Hare, the kick six, man. Oh, you you the talking game, about memorable memorable game, wins? Yeah, man. The cut the cam back, bro. Bow over the top, bro. Punt, Bama punt, bro. We sack Brody. Oh, just, just iron bro, ball wise. We have, I'm saying better moments. Let me put it that yeah, way. Yeah, I don't know why it's probably so because, hey, man, y'all be doing some stuff that just like that make you just stare at the TV screen like, hey, man, that, 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 that ain't, that's some, that's some WWE stuff. That's some entertainment <laughs> like that. Like, come they on now, script. man. Yeah, that, that's, that's some script right there, man. Come on now. Some of the, like, even some of y'all games that y'all don't play, just play against other teams. 
Yeah. I'm like, how did they how did they escape with that? How did they get out of that situation? How did they win that game? We, we be praying. Like some some of them Bo Dix games, I think like you know, you know, I'm praying on your downfall, and I'm like, <laughs> how did how did he do it again? How did yeah. they do it again? Yeah, that that LSU one a couple of years ago was magical though. The LSU yeah. one, and yeah. then I that think y'all had one against one one against yeah. Ole Miss and Arkansas yeah. during yeah. COVID. During COVID, I'm like, yeah, man, how did they yeah. how did they win you that game, right. man? You're right. When uh, a swimming. couple times, I'm I'm like, they got to be knowing the refs, man. They got to be knowing the refs because how. <laughs> in the world how you you're spiked right. the ball backwards yeah man. you're right he did <laughs> spike the ball backwards he did he really he spiked that ball backwards man but and they it, were it, like they blew the whistle before they recovered the ball that was the only yeah. thing, you know what i'm saying and, and something right. happened in the old miss game too i'm they like dude how did they keep doing the, it? it who was the running back man sean shivers i think it was they had a kick they kicked the ball off and um they said tip this tip this finger and um, I guess o Ole Miss recovered it on the kickoff, but they were saying he didn't touch it. So, ah, that, you're that right, was, you're yeah. right, you're right. Yeah, that that was crazy. I think it was like back to back weeks too. I'm like, man, what's going on, man? <laughs> it was. I think it was, man. I think, well, hey, man, that's over, man. That's how we do it. Yeah, y'all, y'all do. Y'all might got that memorable win category down pat. Yeah, yeah, we just understand. That. We might not have the most wins, but we got the better wins, man. We got the better win. So back quickly on back to Georgia, and we're gonna get to the schedule and let you run down the Auburn schedule, man. Tell us the wins and losses. With Georgia, so you don't see with because we kind of drifted off to, um from Georgia. So you don't see Georgia going undefeated when you're saying about the injuries, the running back position. No, no, no. They man, might still win the me. East. They might still win me, the brother. east, but I don't mm -hmm. think they'll go undefeated. They might still win the east, but I don't think they will go undefeated. Okay, because you have to take one game. I don't know. I think it's gonna be something weird. Like we don't seen them struggle. We don't seen them struggle against Missouri. We don't seen them struggle against Kentucky. Like it's gonna be mm -hmm. one of those games, and they're gonna mm -hmm. be missing Stetson Bennett. It might even be Florida. They're gonna be missing Stetson Bennett in that clutch gene. They're gonna miss mm -hmm. it, and they won't be able to get out of that situation. Somebody gonna have their number. I'm telling you. Yeah, man. I, 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 I we um dropped one. Me and Nick dropped one um a couple weeks back, man. And y'all can go watch that one. And my thing was, I'm picking Auburn to maybe go like eight or nine wins, maybe. That's hopefully. where I'm at, we'll seven, eight that. wins. Okay. So, bro, you said seven. I said eight or nine. Hey, man. Oh, hey, man. I, see, well, I, I, gotta, I gotta look at the schedule again. Okay, We're we gonna go down the schedule. We're gonna go down the schedule. We're gonna go down the schedule. I'm gonna let you pick. But I think, man, I, I think the same thing that Georgia gonna drop one somewhere. I'm thinking it, it could be Auburn. I'm thinking it could be Auburn because that quarterback Beck, that's his first time, first SEC away game. You so that's in that's Auburn. In, that's in Auburn. Yeah, in Auburn, and that's his first SEC game away. See, I'm, I'm gonna tell you my thoughts on that. When we get. I'm gonna tell you my thoughts on that because okay. I, I got thoughts on that. And if the running backs dropping, bro, you know what I'm saying? Hey man, you you if that, yeah. If that happened, if that happened, this channel might have a hundred thousand viewers. <laughs> okay let me let's let's, let's let's hit the schedule man i'm gonna pull the schedule up on my telephonic connector my cellular as the dude said on my cellular phone <laughs> um all right here we go nick i mean i'm calling you nick because i don't said nick so much we did a show yesterday um all right dre UMass Auburn. Y'all got me. Come on, man. If okay. if if y'all if y'all can't handle that business and look and look good doing it, then I'm worried. Okay. For y'all, I mean, I'm happy, but I'm also worried <laughs> for you. You at home smiling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, Alabama uh, Auburn going to Cal. See, now this is one of my a. Hey, I um, I don't know because. That is a that's a tough that's a tough thing to adjust to. You going that's mm -hmm. not the usual. You are going out yeah. west and see that's the kind of games I feel like give y'all problems. Uh, Auburn going to play Kansas State in the middle of the Auburn going to play West Virginia. You know, an away game. It's just it, it's it's not the norm. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I I think I think that's the, I I can't I can't give y'all that W. Like y'all might bounce what? back from that. Y'all might you bounce back. Man, Nick say we're gonna struggle with Cal. That's I think me and that him too, had it out about it that. It might not be because struggle. 
You it might not be because it might not be because y'all that they're a really good team. I just think the outside fact is the crowd and it's late night. It's not the norm. And I think that might be like a, a game that, that y'all bounce back from. Y'all fix a bunch of stuff. That that's where when we you you said you said you said eight or nine win. That's why I was like seven eight. Jesus, you got us losing. The, okay, you got us losing the cow, man. God, Lee, man, let's move. If on. if it was at home, I wouldn't be questioning this. If it was at home, I wouldn't be questioning this. But because y'all going on the road, y'all just be a funky team, man. Hey, man, and it's and it's, no, it's no, the beginning no, no, of the ahead, season. Go ahead, go ahead. It's the beginning of the season too. You know, you coming off a a, a blowout at UMass. You might mm -hmm. just think these boys. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. you going out to Cali to have a good time? Yeah, that yeah, distractions, yeah. all that. Mm -hmm. Hey man, I mean, I you know, I'm saying, man, they just they ain't practicing. They just out surfing. You know, that's how I'm thinking. You know, what I'm saying they just out riding around and low riders surfing. You know, what I'm saying they ain't out there doing no football. You know, what I'm saying they ain't eating no cornbread and collard greens like we doing. They ain't even no see, Nick bones like we Nick. I mean, but and then and, you Nick, bro, I done like been on with Nick so much. <laughs> Keep calling me. Another, another, another thing, man. Hey. Another thing, mm -hmm. man. I don't know what y'all gonna get out there trying. If, if you go right at them, if you gonna ground and pound, you okay. gonna take them. You gonna take them to school. But if you okay. get out there, the quarterback that you got now, he can make some throws, but he can also do some very, very bad stuff. He can do some stuff to put you in a position to lose the game. So okay, what are you, you gonna go out there? Drill? What, I don't want to do. Tell from. I don't want to do that. Mean, hold up, boy. I tell you, you you a real you a real Alabama fan, boy. You a real Alabama fan. You don't like did the intel. You bro, you just went watching Peyton Thorn and Auburn fans you, ain't. With, hey so man, you don't I don't watch them on the drive. I don't watch the Michigan State games, man. I don't okay, see okay, the good. I don't see the bad. Say, did you watch the Michigan State Ohio State game? Because the ones I watched was Michigan State Ohio State, and I think I watched. Michigan and Michigan State. Actually, I think man, I'm, I'm, actually, this week before the season start, I'm gonna drop a cut up on the Ohio State and Michigan State game. I'm gonna drop a cut up, man, so people can see him against real competition, man. Him against him being stressed out. Uh, right, right, right. Our defenses that are comparable to Georgia, Alabama, LSU. You see what I'm saying? So, right. That's impressive, man. I'm as draft. I'm impressed, man. So okay. So you saying, pay? I can't uh, disagree with you because in the Ohio State game, man, he he, bro, he dropped back, man. One time, I don't know the reason. He dropped back one time, bro, and just threw it in the triple coverage and ain't intercepted. It, I was like, that's, bro, why that's, you let that's that what I'm real? talking about, man. But and I think it's because you're not used to seeing that many athletes. You're not yep. used to, you know, used to, you know, either wide open guys or, you know, make, make my one read and, and that's it. But when you're playing mm -hmm. higher competition, it, it's mm -hmm. different. Mm -hmm. No, for sure, man. For sure. And, and, you know, everybody is hyped on Peyton Thorne, man. I wish he'd do well. So don't get me wrong, man. I want, you know, man, go out, win the games, throw over 60, 70% win the Heisman. But I got a series, bro, man, that, 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 that film, that tape, it don't lie, bro. So that uh -huh. I, that is concerning to me. And even in some of the conferences, Hugh Freeze said, "Yeah, he threw a pick. Uh, he, he threw he threw a touchdown and he threw a pick." You know what I'm saying? He said he had a scrimmage that he wasn't happy. I, and I'm not down talking. I'm just the I reason. Mean, look, the look. reason, Drell. The reason I have I'm having y'all on is because sometimes you just kind of get buried in your team's information, right? Right. And you yeah. just, bro. You get to the season, and you be thinking national championship. We're not gonna lose a game, and that's kind of where I am with the recruiting yeah. and the success of you freeze so far in the off season. That's why I'm having guys on, man, from another fan base outside looking in to kind of reel us in and bring it, put us in perspective, man. And it's good, bro, because you don't literally watch some film on this dude. But hey, look, man, like, yeah, the, the dude is the dude has talent. He has arm mm -hmm. talent. And he, mm -hmm. he can make some good plays, but the decision making sometimes is just it's off. Okay. Yeah. 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 I, I can't. Man, I can't. I cannot disagree, bro. Cannot disagree. All right. Let's let let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. All right. So you got us losing the chaos, but that's the, that that uh, bro. Who will be one and one? Okay. So Sanford. That that's a double. Stop. Come on now. Okay. Two and one. We go two. Texas A&M. 
man, that, that see, I, I can't give y'all that one either. But those games are always, you know what I mean? Those are always dog fights. Yeah. But the yeah. thing is, they have they have everything to lose this year. It's all on the line. Y'all are just Y'all are just we we're trying to do our trying to build something. We're trying to trying to do our best. We're trying to get something going. They have everything to lose, and I think they have a better roster than y'all. So I think that either I like y'all secondary. So I think that either they're gonna they're gonna get some big plays in y'all secondary, or they're gonna kill y'all with the run game, and then it's gonna open up the big plays. Oh, Dre, you like breaking it down like this, man. Man, I, you know what I'm saying? You, this reality might be a little too reality. <laughs> this man this man ain't just breaking it down. He breaking it down and watching film and okay, Drill, you the man. You the man. Okay. You the man. Okay. Yeah, man, you gave, you gave going. me some you gave me some time to look at it look yesterday, at man. You I should have gave you time to look at it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Come on, man. I, I'm liking I'm loving it though, man. I'm loving this though. Okay. This is good stuff. All right. All right, Georgia Auburn. I got, I got to go with Georgia. It's just the talent thing, man. Mm -hmm. now, I think, but you know what? That that yeah. game is gonna shock people because no matter what y'all done in the previous weeks, y'all mm -hmm. gonna fight for y'all life against one of your biggest rivals. Right, and it's it's gonna be closer than a lot of people think. It's gonna yeah, be closer than a lot yeah. of people think. Yeah, and that's why I think Nick said a field goal. You know, what I'm saying maybe a touchdown or a field goal. Yeah, yeah, somewhere around there. Golly, bro, this ain't looking good so far. Okay. LSU. We got LSU at LSU. Because it's at LSU. If if it was in Auburn, I would say y'all have a chance to do the upset. Dre, don't say it. What? Because it's at LSU, man. What? Because it's at LSU. Because I, what? Because think, it's at LSU. I think they're gonna take it, man. I think that I think that Harold Perkins and and you know that that receiving court that front and all that is gonna give y'all problems. It's gonna be another battle, but I think they're gonna find a way to win. Now, let, just just keep going, man. It's gonna pick up. It's gonna pick up. I, I got Real. I got some I got some W's for Auburn. Some surprise, maybe that might surprise Real. some people. Listen, man. The talent I'm thing, have man. To invite you from coming over, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this man. is really getting kind of depressing, Drell. Hey, man. Bro, oh, okay. rewind. The only wins we got, you got us getting is UMass and Sanford, man. Man, I looked at y'all roster too, man. You got us I, one. You got us losing the cow, bro. A and M, LSU. Okay, bro. Okay, we at Georgia. Okay, we done lost all them. All right. Okay, how are we gonna win eight games? <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Hey, all perfect. Don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. Don't unsubscribe. <laughs> all right. You ready, Dre? Yeah. Let's, let's continue on. Let's continue on. Here we go. All right. You say we lose LSU, right? All right. Ole Miss. We got Ole Miss at home. Hey, I like y'all here. I like y'all here. Don't feel sorry for us, Dre. Just tell us the truth, man. Listen, Let's listen, go. listen. They have, I think that that's going to be like a, a good couple of scores on each side because. I think Golden is going to try to outsmart himself. I think that they, I don't think they're going to lean on the run like they should. They're going to try to pass for some reason or, or mm -hmm. some reason they're going to try to overthink it. And y'all mm -hmm. secondary will make a few plays and it's just going to be a battle. That, that's the type of games Al Auburn and Ole Miss have. Okay. It's just always a battle to who can make the most plays. So you, you're trying to push me down on the bed of roses is what you're trying to do. <laughs> You pushing me down, but you pushing me down on the bed of roses. Okay, all right. I all like right. Lane and Golden. I'll think themselves there. Yeah, I, I agree with that, man. Hope we get a lot of fourth downs, fourth down and kiffing. <laughs> oh. For real. Jesus. All right, Miss, Mississippi State, bro. Mississippi State. I like y'all here too because okay. like it's just like Ole Miss. They those those games y'all always put on class. Those are dog fights. Okay. But, and it seemed like Auburn always get the edge somehow, some way. Mm hmm. All right, Vanderbilt. I like y'all there too. They get they, that. That's a trap game. That's I like y'all there too. But it that's a trap, a trap game, game man. It because I watched game. them the other night. They got good players. You know, maybe not, maybe not on the caliber of the upper SCT teams, but they got good players. Man, that's them dudes beat Florida last year, man. 
Did, yeah, they, beat, they beat Florida. Did they beat Kentucky last year? I think they did beat Kentucky. They, yeah, they I got know they, they beat you know, Florida they, last year. I'm like, whoa. They, man. You know, yeah, yeah. That's a trap game. Dang, why you got to be a sane Alabama fan? All right, Joe. <laughs> All right, Dre. Here we go. Arkansas at Arkansas. I see. This is, you know what? I, I like y'all here too. And okay, 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 okay. okay. I like that. All right. It, it's it's a toss up, but mm -hmm. it's gonna be a battle, and and it seemed like it always fall in y'all favor. Whether okay. that's gonna be a KJ Jefferson turnover or a running back fumble or interception or something, it, it seems mm -hmm. like it always fall in y'all favor. Mm hmm Okay. That's what's up. All right. New Mexico State. That's that's easy. Okay, that's easy. Okay. All right. And the last one is Alabama. So what y'all got? Y'all on the three, four winning streak right here. Yeah, man. We on a, so, we on a one, two, three, four. Five game winning streak going so, into so we're not sleeping on y'all. So yeah, <laughs> you know what that means. You know the whole media, the whole week is this is a this is a scrappy Auburn team, and they want right. to mess up Alabama season. They want to keep them out of a, a playoff spot. They want to they want to knock off an undefeated Alabama. You know, this is a scrappy Auburn team. You know they got they got nothing to lose. Mm -hmm. So that's why <laughs> that's why I think that's that's the the the, the loss the, the losses are back. Okay, so okay, let me ask you this. So you get that that put us at five losses, right? I think that's five losses. So that's like you said, seven and five. All right. Do you think we win a bowl game? I gotta know who it's against. You gotta know who it's against. Okay. I gotta know where it's at too, because if they send you out of Birmingham again, what's the motivation? What's gonna get you up? Yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know. He freeze in the first year going to a bowl game when they didn't go to a bowl game last year. Well, and, you and, on that, the hit, that, and you're able to be eight and five. That's very correct. That, that's very on correct. Putting no point yeah, into recruiting. Yeah, I think they playing. I think I think they playing. I think they fight for their life in a bowl game. You're right. But eight it, wins it, ain't bad. That ain't bad. No. That's a good season for. Mm -mm. Especially, yeah. yeah. What, what your boy left? That's a good season, man. That's a good season. All right, Drill. Let me ask you this. What 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 y'all cooking down there in, in, in the South, man? You know what I'm saying? What y'all cooking down there? What what y'all doing for the first game? What y'all doing for the first game? Because we man. we like I told Nick before, we we having this thing on this channel, man, where we you know we're gonna have tailgate menu, man, where we like you know cooking up some stuff. You know what I'm saying? Doing a little something different besides just talking. You know, we're gonna mm -hmm. do a little cooking, man, do, do some tailgate, man, do the whole gamut of SEC football. So, bro, what y'all cooking down there, man? What y'all, what y'all getting down with first game? Man, uh, maybe some ribs, maybe some wings. You know, maybe, maybe, maybe add a little special sauce or something. Okay, 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 okay. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. You gonna you you gonna be watching the game with Mama Tot, Mama Margaret, and y'all don't man, y'all don't be influencing my mama be no Alabama fan, man. Y'all bad influence. She split between three different fan bases, man. <laughs> I said, I said, come on now. I said, I said, Georgia just won last year. They don't need another one. She said, man, she said, Alabama got all them championships. They can get two. I said, come on now. Hey, she ain't Ruben. Hey, bro, you just uh, left Tennessee out. She don't even pull up Tennessee, dude. She <laughs> they ain't having enough buzz for her to get involved. Right, before, right, before, you know they they hit their hot streak and then it went right <laughs> off a cliff. She couldn't even she couldn't even jump on the bandwagon. <laughs> you said they couldn't even she couldn't even jump on the bandwagon. They they went off the cliff. They ain't give her enough time. They ain't give her enough time. They in one more week she probably would have been on there. Stan, Jawan, man, I'm sorry, man. Sorry we had to do it to you. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Woo! Oh man, this will be a good one, man. This one will be a good one. Hey Dre, man, you good? I ain't gonna lie, man. You good on the analysis, man. You good on the Alabama stuff, man. You good on this SEC stuff, man. You tweeting out? You tweeting out during the week or something? You, you know what I'm saying? You got your Twitter game going? What's up? I don't know, man. You know, <laughs> Twitter, Twitter be getting kind of toxic, man. I be needing an unbiased view, man. You know, I, I, I just be want to take the game in, man. Some folks, some folks on Twitter, man, they just they can't. They can only see one way. 
Yeah, like, you yeah, know, it's, yeah. They can only see it one way. You know, no matter what. You know, this quarterback done mm -hmm. thrown four picks in a row. That mm -hmm. man finna bounce back. What have you seen that's gonna make that man bounce back? You know, right. this strategy ain't working. You know, we getting killed in the run game. This linebacker ain't doing his job. Okay, he gonna bounce back. What have you seen from him that's gonna let you know that he gonna bounce back, man? You know, sometimes you gotta step back and just watch the games. Yeah, yeah, for sure, man. That's being a same fan, but but SEC is full of just us, man. Because I know I be yeah. just I, I go like that sometimes. So mm -hmm. so you ain't trying to get no followers, nobody following you. On nah, I'm gonna get man. you to put your Twitter out there so these, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so when this panel blow up to like ten thousand. 50, 100,000 people, you know what I'm saying? But they already want to know, man, where can I find this dude at, man? This dude good. You know, I, I might, I might, you know, make a, make a, make a, set up an account, you know, just to, okay. I'm, I'm biased, you know, just just get some facts off, you know, and I'll let you know. Okay, man, do that, man. But Dre, man, we appreciate you having you on Auburn Addicts, man. We hope you come back. Definitely in the Iron Bowl, but man, you got to come back, man. I might have you on for the Georgia game, too, man. I'm trying to get recent. Hey, you know, hey, let me know, man. It's all fun. Chop it up, man. It's all fun. All right, bro, man. Hey, man, y'all be blessed down in God's country, man. Yeah. And I know you all ain't going to say it, but wait. Roll <laughs> tide. Roll tide. Peace. <laughs>